Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 10 Update KB5004237 is now rolling out. And this is a follow-up video to the video I made earlier, just to dive a little bit deeper into the latest Patch Tuesday cumulative update from Microsoft. Now, as mentioned, this is a mandatory compulsory automatic update, and it will be installed automatically onto your Windows 10 machine. And that's all Windows 10 supported machines. So that's 2004, 20H2, and also 21H1. And this is a big update. There's lots going on in this update. There's a lot of bug fixes and security patches and fixes. So if it takes a while to install, there's been reports that it is taking quite you know a long time on certain machines to uh, download and especially to install. Just be patient because there's a lot going on in this update and it is carrying important bug fixes and security fixes, which obviously increase the size of the update and everything that has to be installed. So just be patient. Now, this update, the big news of this update is that it fixes the uh, printing problem with the zero day exploit in that print nightmare vulnerability that um, had issues with the Windows print spooler service, which I have posted previous videos on uh, before. So KB5004237 should address the print nightmare vulnerabilities in Windows 10. So if you have been experiencing uh, that uh, zero day exploit, with that printer bug, go and make sure you have updated to this latest update as this, according to Microsoft, will sort that print nightmare vulnerability out for you. And if you didn't install the optional update last month um, at the end of June, then all those bug fixes and security fixes will be rolled out in this update as well, KB5004237. Now, if you install the update and you're running version 21H1, your OS build now goes to 19043.1110. So that's triple one zero. And if you're on 20H2, that'll be 19042. And if you're on 2004, that'll be 19041. Now, in Windows Update, obviously you can check for updates, but it will download and all install automatically onto your machine. And then you will just have to restart your computer to apply the update. And here is the update, cumulative update for Windows 10 version 21H1. That's all supported versions of Windows, KB5004237. And for whatever reason, if you cannot uh, download it and there is issues, you can always pop over to the Microsoft Update Catalog. Just pop in KB5004237 and you just find your version of Windows and you can download and install it manually and that should be able to install the update for you onto your device. And it's quite important that you uh, download and install this update even if it is having issues in Windows Update as this um, update is carrying important bug fixes and security updates to Windows 10. And apparently there are nine zero day exploits that KB5004237 addresses and four of those have already been exploited in the wild. So what that means is that four of them are already active. So it's important to block those holes, plug those holes and get this update installed. Um, so you can, um, you know, obviously keep your Windows operating system safe and secure. Now, there's been a lot of different software that has been updated with this latest cumulative update. It spreads right across Microsoft Server, Windows itself, and also um, uh, Office products as well. So that's why I'm saying it's quite a large update in size because it carries a lot of bug fixes and security fixes. Now, some of the key highlights uh, to KB5004237 is that um, the news and interests, if you were still having problems with that, this should address any issues you were having with the taskbar icon in the news and interest feed, you know, being blurry and issues like that. And also if you're, you were still having issues in your uh, system tray and your taskbar with icons and, you know, just general bugs and things going wrong in your taskbar, then this update should also finally now, according to Microsoft, fix those issues. And then there's also been performance issues that have been addressed uh, that were caused by the March and April update. And those were, you know, um, the, uh, the the bug that was caused by the March and April update, which goes quite a way back, caused frame rate problems for gamers and um, gaming on Windows 10. And apparently KB5004237 has addressed those issues. So um, that is good news for gamers. And then also, if you have been experiencing any blue screen of death, issues from uh, prior updates, then this uh, latest uh, Patch Tuesday update uh, 
uh, should uh, address those problems and prevent you know any more um, previous uh, uh, update blue screen of death issues in Windows 10. And then the big one is, as I mentioned, it's fixed the print nightmare bug, um, which I have posted previous videos on. And that was with that uh, print spooler service that had been exploited. And now uh, KB5004237 has patched and addressed that problem. And then general printing issues have also been fixed, especially with label printers and receipt printers, which are plugged into your Windows 10 operating system with a US, you know, through the uh, USB port. Microsoft says that has been addressed as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are a, a couple of security uh, patches and, and issues that this update addresses. And the security updates to Windows, um, and I'm just going to read this from the Microsoft update, you know, the, the uh, support web page. Security updates are applied to Windows apps, Windows management, Windows uh, fundamentals, Windows authentication, Windows user account control, oper operating system security, Windows virtualization, Windows Linux, the Windows kernel, the Microsoft scripting engine, the Windows HTML platforms, the Windows H sorry, the Windows MS HTML platform and Windows graphics. So there's been a lot of security updates applied to uh, that of, you know, that are rolling out with KB5004237. So, you know, it's important that you make sure you have your uh, Windows patched because, you know, if it's, as I mentioned, if there's nine zero day exploits and four of them have already been exploited in the wild, that could mean that hack hackers have access to your PC and can get into your PC, bypass your antivirus and get into your PC uh, because those um, flaws and uh, 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 um, issues have not been addressed. So it's important to make sure that you update with the latest security update. So KB5004237 is now rolling out. As I say, in as I said in my previous video, there are no new features. It is, you know, and uh, due to just, you know, research, it is and, and user reports it is quite a large update and as i mentioned it is carrying a lot of uh, bug fixes and security fixes a lot of uh, across a lot of different windows uh, platforms and products so just be patient if it's taking a long time to install on your pc and as i mentioned that should address those um uh, you know your, your news and interest feed being blurry taskbar issues uh, performance issues, especially in gaming and obviously blue screen of death, it should fix that. The print nightmare, according to Microsoft now, has been squashed and general printing issues have been fixed. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.